Uh, for me, I don't have uh, uh, time or situation to write uh, about uh, flowers and uh, you know uh, your love or other stuff like that. Hi there. So I'm Nawakipu. Nawakipu in Tibetan means the jolly one, the happy one, the easygoing one. So poetry, um, in my opinion, uh, there are different ways of writing poems by different people, pe uh, people with different emotions. Uh, for me, I don't have uh, time or situation to write uh, about uh, flowers and uh, you know uh, your love or other stuff like that uh, i'm preoccupied by uh, the suffering and the and the occupation of our our nation tibet and uh, every time i want to write something uh, those things comes uh, comes in my mind, and so I start to write uh, uh, things. Mm, so uh, I'll read. Um, for example, uh, this poem poem is Yeti Land. So in here, I'm trying to um, uh, sort of like tr trying to be as much as poetic as I can but still in there you can uh, you, you will uh, see how our cul uh, uh, the uh, Tibetan uh, the cause of Tibet and the longing for freedom longing to wanting to go back to Tibet is within uh, within me so uh, this was written 2011 October 13th of October it's called Yeti Land Yeti land is like a dream, uh, dreamlike wonderland where everything is always uh, beautiful. Nothing in inhuman can ever be bought. Nothing unecological can ever be sold here. Here the transportation is always free. So is the education, health and housing. It is a funny old uh, dreamlike virtual Yeti land nothing uh, public could ever be privatized poor had more than enough to be happy rich had always been richer and never sad everyone had always been free and happy here no one ever was hurt robbed and killed here here the music never stopped for a while there they never stopped dancing in a strange style everyone always cared and loved each other no one ever had to uh, had the need to fight to be happy there was no such thing as a e economic migrant here for currency was equal in value everywhere the strong had nev never dared bully the weak here the poor were the poor poor were always looked after well and e equal no one had to leave home to become refugee. Everyone lived in their own little happy homes. A famine was known only in the stories and tales. Food was always in abundance from every source. Many never had to many never had any health issues and disorders. Everyone carefully consumed natural and healthy. People never had to work hard to be able to just be. No one bothered becoming materialistic, uh, materialistically rich anyway. Um, eco economy was always booming and beaming in surplus. Um, nothing was possibly allowed for bankers to gamble. As a, uh, as a result of such a divine celestial interventions, telephone, internet, television, electricity were all free the science was so advanced and extraordinary uh, everywhere everything was grown organic automatic and free 
snow lion had never been spotted anywhere in there. Rumor has it that Yeti was spotted laughing in a cave. Pandas never stopped eating bamboos in the wild. Yak was often misunderstood for Yeti in the dark. Nobody knew how was AK-47 meant to bring peace, so they always relied on Dranyan to sing, sing, to sing, dance and be in peace. Here the Chinese have always been happier in China. Tibetans have always been free and happier in Tibet. This Yeti land has always been open, clear and spacious, just like the sky where, where the where stars are actually bigger than ego. People had everything in abundance and perfection. Life has always been the source of joy and happiness here. Thank you. Thank you.